Good morning, everyone. So for today's math lesson, you're going to tear out pages 481 and 483. Today's math lesson is lesson 8.7. We are going to be talking about fractions of a group. You've been working on fractions for a, a week or so now, so we're going to continue that and talk about them being in groups. Essential question, how can a fraction name part of a group? First, we're going to unlock the problem. Jake and Emma each have a collection of blue marbles. What fraction of each collection is blue? You can use a fraction to name part of a group. Jake's marbles. <laughs> well, we know now that we want to find what fraction of each collection is blue. So first, we want to know the number of blue marbles. The number of blue marbles is our numerator. 1, 2, 3. There are three blue marbles. Our denominator is how many we have as a whole in our entire group. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, how many of Jake's marbles are blue? Read 3 eighths or 3 out of 8. You write it 3 over 8. So, 3 eighths of Jake's marbles are blue. Let's look at Emma's marbles. We want to know how many of Emma's marbles are blue. Well, Emma has bags of marbles, so her marbles are grouped. So, how many bags of blue marbles do we have? We have one bag of blue marbles. How many bags of marbles do we have all together? We have one, two, three, four. So, as a whole, the amount of bags that we have is our denominator, so that's fourth. So, one fourth of Emma's marbles are blue. What, read one fourth or one out of four. Write one fourth. So, one fourth of Emma's marbles are blue. <clears throat> Try this. Name part of a group. At this time, you may want to pause your video so you have a red and a yellow pen or marker or crayon in order to draw your counters. So if you'd like to pause now to get those, go right ahead. All right, so it says draw, draw two red counters. One, two, and and six yellow counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Write the fraction of counters that are red. Well, how many red counters do we have, friends? We have one, two. We have two counters that are red. Then we count our total number of counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have eight counters all together. Then they want us to write the fraction of counters that are not red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six yellow counters. So the number of yellow counters are one, two, three, four, five, six. Total number of counters. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight counters in total. So six eighths of the counters are yellow and two eighths of the counters are red. So they want to know how many of the counters are red. One, two out of eight. So two eighths of the counters are red and and blank are not red. So we found that six out of eight, so six eighths are not red. Now we're going to move on to page 482. Okay, fractions greater than one. Sometimes a fraction can name more than a whole group. Daniel collects baseballs. He has collected eight so far. He puts them in cases that hold four baseballs each. What part of the baseball cases has Daniel filled? So if we think one case equals one, Daniel has two full cases of four baseballs each. So here is one case, and here is another case. So we have one, two, we have two cases. And there are four, one, two, three, four baseballs in each case. So two or eight out of four baseball cases are filled because you have four is your whole number in a case. So one, two, three, four is your denominator because that's what you can fit in one case or one group. So that goes on the bottom. Eight is how many he has in total. So eight is the number of each individual baseball that he has. Try this. Complete the whole number and the fraction greater than one to name the part filled. Okay, so if we think one pan equals one, so if, if this one pan is one, how many do we have? We have one, that was one whole pan, then we have two whole pans, and then we have three whole pans. So what is the number of each individual cupcake in our whole pan? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So in our whole group, our denominator, so our denominator is six because there are six in one whole. So we found that we have one, two, three holes. So we have three pans, correct? One, two, three holes. Because there are six cupcakes in each hole, six the amount in here is our denominator. Our numerator is the amount of each cupcake in total. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So three is equivalent to 18 over 6. Let's move on to B. Okay, we are going to think one box equals one whole. So we have one whole box, two whole boxes. So we have two. Well, let's find out how many pencils are in each hole. So when you want to find 
your whole in your group, that's going to be your denominator. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 pencils in one whole. Because we have 2, now we need to count them all in order to get the numerator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 2 is also equivalent to 16 over 8. Share and show. What fraction of the counters are red? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five. So we know that five are red. How many do we have in our whole? Let's count how many we have in our whole. And in total, that will be our denominator. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 out of 8 of the counters are red. So 5 eighths. How many counters? How many red counters are there? We decided there were 5. And how many counters are there in all? 8. So we got five eighths. All right. Now we are going to write a fraction to name the red part of each group. All right. So how many red apples do we have? One, two. We have two red apples. How many do we have in total? One, two, three, four. So in total, we have four. So two-fourths of the apples are red. Number three. <clears throat> we have one, because it says write a fraction to name the red part of each group. Okay, so we have one, two, three groups. So we have three groups all together. So in total, it's three groups. So we'll put three for our denominator. Our numerator is how many of the groups are red? Well, one group is red. So one third of the balloons are red. Explain another way to name the fraction for exercise 3. Well, if we look, we can count the number of red balloons to find the numerator. So how many red balloons? We're going to count the red balloons to find the To find the numerator and we'll count the total balloons to find the denominator. All right, so how many red balloons do we have to find the numerator? One, two, Two red balloons. How many balloons do we have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one third or two six are equal to each other. Now we will move on to page 483. Okay, 
Write a whole number and a fraction greater than 1 to name the part filled. Okay, so if we think that one carton equals one, this is one whole. This is also a whole, so there's two. And here is a third whole, three. So we have three cartons. How many cartons are in total of one whole for our denominator? So in one whole group, that's where we find our denominator. One, two, three, four. Four. How many tomatoes do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have 3 total, which is also equal to 12 over 4. Okay, if we think one container of, what, what do we think these are? Flowers. We think one container equals one whole. So we have one whole container of flowers two whole containers of flour. So we have how many containers? Two. All right, so how many are total in one whole? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the whole number in one group is our denominator, which is six. Now let's count how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. On your own, write a fraction to name the blue part of each group. How many do we have in our group? Well, let's find how many blue ones we have in our group of hats. We have one blue one. So one is our numerator. Then our denominator is what? It's the whole group. One, two, three, four, five, six. One whole group is your denominator. All right. Let's find out how many crayons we have. How many crayons, because we are looking for blue, let's find out how many blue crayons we have for our what? Numerator. One, two, three blue crayons. That's our numerator. Now how many do we have in our one whole group all together for our denominator? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So three eighths of the crayons are blue. Now number eight, we can do two different ways. First, we will do it by group. So we have one, two, three, four groups. We have four groups. So Four is our total number of groups, so that is our denominator. How many of those groups are blue? One, two. Two groups are blue. So two is our numerator. Two out of four. The other way we can do this is we can count the individual buttons. So how many buttons do we have that are blue? One, two, three, four. Four buttons are blue. How many buttons do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Eight buttons are blue. So it's two fourths or four eighths of the buttons are blue. Now we get to go over to number nine and work with fish. So let's do it with groups first. How many groups do we have? We have one, two groups. So we have two groups in total, so our denominator is two. How many of these groups are blue? Well, one group is blue. So one out of two of the groups are blue. Now, if we do it by individual fish, Let's count how many blue fish we have. One, two, three, four. Four of our fish are blue. How many fish do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fish all together. So one half or four eighths of the fish are blue. Write a whole number and a fraction greater than one to name the part filled. Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four containers. We have four containers. So, how many are in each container? Because one whole container is our denominator. The amount of each of the tennis balls that is in one group is our denominator. So one, two, three is our denominator. Then how many do we have in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So four is equal to 12 over three. All right, number 11. So if we think one carton of eggs equals one, so one carton of eggs is one group. It's one whole group. Then we have a second one, so we have two whole groups, or two whole cartons. So two cartons of eggs. Well, what is our total of one whole group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One whole group is our denominator. Our numerator is the amount that we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So two is equal to twenty-four over twelve. <coughs> All right, number 12, draw eight circles. We can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we didn't read the directions. That would be helpful. Draw a quick picture on your math board, then write a fraction to name the shaded. We want the shaded part of the group. I apologize. Okay, so we'll go back to our eight circles that we drew. So it says draw eight circles, then shade eight circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, we need to know how many shaded circles for our numerator. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight circles are shaded. How many circles are there in total for our denominator? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight out of eight circles are shaded. Number 13, 
draw eight triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Make four groups. One group, whoops, two groups, three groups, four groups. We have four groups. Then it says we need to shade one group. We're going to shade this group. So how many shaded parts of the group do we have? Well, we can do this two different ways, friends. So if we have one group, two group, three groups, four groups, we can do one group is shaded. Out of how many groups? One, two, three, four. So one out of four groups is shaded. Or we can do the triangles in total. So one, two are shaded. Then how many do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight in total. So one fourth or two eighths of the triangles are shaded. Okay, number 14. Draw four rectangles. One, two, three, four. Shade two rectangles. One, two. How many of our rectangles are shaded? One, two. Two rectangles are shaded. How many rectangles do we have in all? One, two, three, four. Four rectangles. Two fourths of the rectangles are shaded. Now we're going to move on to page 484. Problem solving applications. Use the graph for 15 through 16. Well, I know that Mrs. Rankin would go through and you guys would put it at the top of your graphs what the total was. So let's do that now. Robin has on the side, we, it's the school marble tournament. And over here says the number of games, one. And over here is the name of the player. So Robin won how many games? One, two. Robin won two games. Heidi won how many games? One, two, three games. Scott won how many games? One, two. Scott won two games. And how many games did Trent win? Trent won one game. Okay. The bar graph shows the winners of Smith Elementary School Marble Tournament. How many games were played? What fraction of the games did Scott win? Well, how many games did they play in all? So, they, Robin did, played two games. So, two plus Heidi's games is three plus Scott's games is two plus Trent's game is one. So, two plus three is five plus two is seven plus one equals eight. So there are eight games in total. So what, what is our total number? That's the denominator. So, actually we're going to do it this way. How many games were played altogether? That was the first question. I apologize. So eight games. Eight games were played. That's what we found from doing our addition over here. Okay, how many games, or what's the fraction of the games that Scott won? So our denominator, we said, is the games in total. So eight. How many of them did Scott win? Scott won two games. So he won two out of eight games. So two eighths of the games were won by Scott. 
Number 16. Analyze what fraction of the games did Robin not win? Well, so all of the games that were not won by Robin are everyone else's games together. So, Heidi won three games, Scott won two games, and Trent won one game. So they won three plus two is five plus one is six. And how many games were there in total? We decided there were eight games in total. So eight is our denominator because that's the total. And then how many were not won by Robin? We found that there were six not won by Robin. So six out of eight games were not won by Robin. Number 17. Lee has six marbles. Of them, one third are blue. Draw the rest red. Draw a picture to show Lee's marbles. So Lee has six marbles. One out of three of them are blue. Okay, the rest are red. So she has six marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we know that we want them in, how many groups do we want them in? We want them in three groups. So one, two, three. And in those three groups, we know that one of the groups are blue. So this one's blue. And this one's blue. The rest are red. One, two, three, four. I just realized I didn't tell you that you needed blue also. So Hopefully you were able to pause it in order to get the colors that you needed to complete um, number 17. Number 18. What's the question? A bag has two yellow cubes, three blue cubes, and one white cube. The answer is six, is one sixth. So what is the question? Well, we know that there are six in total, correct? Because our denominator is always the total amount. And we want to know if the answer is one-sixth, which color of cube has one? That's right, white. So, our possible question could be, what fraction of the cubes are white? Number 19. Michaela picked some flowers. What fraction of flowers are yellow or red? So she picked the flowers. What fraction of the flowers are yellow or red? So we have one, two, three, four, five flowers that are yellow or red. So we know that we have five as our numerator. Our denominator is what? the total number of flowers, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So five out of eight, or five eighths of the flowers are yellow or red. What fraction of the flowers are not yellow or red? Show your work. Well, one, two, three of the flowers are not yellow or red. So three of them are not yellow or red. How many flowers do we have in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three out of eight flowers are not red, or three eighths of the flowers are not red. So are not, oh, yellow or red, I'm sorry, yellow or red. Have a great day, everyone.